Hello everyone. Today we will learn about something very exciting and new. So today we will learn about paint. Introduction to paint. Now when we think about paint, what comes in your mind? Your drawing book, your colors, right? So why do we need to paint? The children, drawing brings out your creative ideas. So when you have that blank paper and you want to make some drawing, you think and whatever thoughts come in your mind, you try to paint those thoughts on that paper. So you become very creative and very creative ideas keep coming to you when you draw. And do you know that you can enjoy coloring and drawing on your computer also? So till now you were only drawing on your drawing book and you were coloring using your crayons or pencil colors, right? But today we will learn about a program in the computer through which you can color and draw on the computer. The paint program on computer is used for drawing and coloring on the computer. So we have the paint program which we can use for drawing and coloring on the computer. The paint program has many tools that help us to draw and color the pictures. So like when we do the drawing on, the, uh, uh, on a paper, we need a blank paper, we need pencil, we need eraser, scale. We also need different type of colors. So they become our tools when we do drawing on a paper. Similarly, when you want to draw on this paint program, you will need different tools. So this program has many different tools which help you to do drawing and coloring on computer. So how to start paint? Let's learn the steps to start paint. For that, we need to click on the start button on the monitor screen. This is how the start buttons look like. Choose all programs and select the accessories. So once you click on the start button, you will see a menu and from that menu, you will click on all programs and then you will click on accessories. Select the paint option and under accessories you have paint option. Once you select this paint option, you can open the paint program. Let's see it here. So see, do you see a start button? Then you have all programs. Then there is a menu next to all programs where we have accessories and once we click on accessories there is another menu in which you have paint and once you click on this paint you can paint window so this is how the paint window looks like so do you see you have a lot of tools on the top of the window and there is a blank area where you can draw now let's learn about the different options that we have in paint. Parts of the paint window. So first we will learn about the different parts of the paint window. The paint window has different parts and the first is the title bar. So if this is my paint window, what is a title bar? Title bar. This bar is at the top of the paint window and is known as title bar. This bar displays the program name and the file name. So do you see a bar at the top of this window where we have the program name that is paint and we have the file name which is untitled because we have not given the title to our file till now. We have not given any name to our file. So this bar is known as the title bar. 
right? Do you see this bar? This button at the top right side of the title bar is known as control button and it is used to minimize, maximize or close the paint window. Now, which is the control button? This button here on the title bar, right? It is known as the control window or control button because it is used to minimize, maximize or close the paint window. Now we will learn about the quick access toolbar. So if this is my window, paint window, the quick access toolbar contains the buttons to do common task. Examples are save, redo, undo and other options. So where is the quick access toolbar? This little bar is known as the quick access toolbar and you, if you click on the drop down you can see these different options there new open safe paint right so these are the different options new which are available on the quick access toolbar now let's learn about the paint button or the file menu so if this is my paint window do you see a file button here and once you click on this button this menu will open up and this button is known as the paint button, which contains different options to work in paint. So you have many different options available under this button, like new, open, save, save as, print, send in email and others. So this is the paint button or the file menu. Now let's learn about the ribbon. So if this is my paint window, ribbon consists of two parts, tabs and groups. So this ribbon has two parts. It has tabs and it has groups. So this is a ribbon, this broad ribbon where we have different groups and tabs. Now what are tabs? Tabs, each tab contains tools arranged in different groups. So here we have two tabs, a home tab and a view tab. Home tab has different groups in it and view tab also have different groups in it. Now what are groups? Groups. Group is a set of related commands. So do you see these four groups here which has related commands? The first group is the image group, tools group, shapes group and colors group. Right, and these all are our different tools which we use while drawing and coloring in paint. The next is the drawing area. So if this is my paint window, drawing area. This area is used for making colorful drawings and covers the major part of the paint window. So why do we need a drawing area? We need a place to draw and color, right? So this blank area is known as the drawing area and it is it covers the major part of this window. It covers the maximum part of this window because we need a lot of space to make drawings and then to color them. So children, I hope you enjoyed learning about the different tools of the paint program. And in the next class, we will learn how to use these tools. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Until we meet next, keep learning.